Hi guys and welcome back to Shady's Kitchen. I'm Shady. Today we're looking at making a Jannah Jaat, Jannah being chickpeas. Normally the way people eat this is they'll eat it with uh, smosas or with pakoras. I know but at home we tend not to do that. We tend to eat it as, as is. It is a starter. Uh, it's vegetarian friendly and if you do want to make it vegan friendly what you can do is avoid adding the yogurt or just add a, a yogurt substitute to that. This actually goes really, really well in summer when it's really, really warm. If you make this, pop it into the fridge, you can serve it to your friends and family. It really has a nice cooling effect as well. So are you ready? Let's get cooking. So we're going to start off needing 600 grams of chopped potatoes. We've chopped them into smaller little cubes here. And what you're going to need to do with that is we pre-boil these. So you need to pre-boil them in a pinch of salt. So I'll just show you over here that they squash quite easily and um, they have been boiled nicely. You don't want them to lose their shape and you don't want to mash these up in any way, shape or form. But drop a pinch of salt in there and pre-boil them. You need 200 grams of chopped onions. Now don't slice these, just chop them roughly like we've done. The, you can dice them if you want to, that's not a problem at all. You can dice them, but just chop them into smaller little pieces like that. You need a teaspoon of um, this mixture over here. It is a um, seasoning mix made by a company called Shan. Now that's just purely a company. It's only because in South Asian shops that we go to and shop, they we, they actually have this brand available. You might find it as a very different brand, makes no difference. As long as you're going for the Chinachat mix, seasoning mix, that's what you require. You need one teaspoon of that. You need three medium sized tomatoes that have been chopped as well. We've got a bit more there because we're making a larger portion today, but for yours, certainly when it serves four to five people, you only need three medium sized tomatoes that have been chopped. Half a teaspoon of salt. Just um, three pinches of red chilli powder. Three pinches, no more than that. Four teaspoons of plain yogurt. Again, as long as it's just standard plain yogurt, it's absolutely fine. We're just using the usual one we always use. Four hundred and eighty grams of drained chickpeas and make sure you drain them thoroughly. The, I've said 480 grams, it doesn't matter if you go slightly more than that, it depends on what your drain weight is. Our cans come in drain weights of 240 grams, so you'll just need two tins. So even if it is, um, if your drain weight comes up as 250 grams, just double it up, it makes not, not a massive amount of difference over here. But do make sure you drain them. You'll need one lemon. And we're just going to juice that. Chop as finely as you can one green chilli. You'll need some cumin seeds, which are known as jeera, and they're gonna be, you, again, you just need two pinches of that. Uh, I will just um, make sure they're crushed in my palm prior to putting that in directly. And it's quite easy to do, we'll show you how to do that, but just two pinches of uh, full cumin seeds, not, not the powder form. And lastly, you're going to need some sweet chili um, so we're using sweet Thai chilli over here, just some sweet chilli sauce.
So for this, you're going to need a bigger bowl. And we've put the drained chickpeas into this directly already. And we're just gonna start adding the ingredients. They don't have to be any in any specific order, but a few of the items like the potatoes and tomatoes will pop in there first because we wanna have them at the bottom prior to mixing. And then we'll just follow up with adding all the other um, bits and bobs and herbs and, and various chilies that we've got on top. Um, so we can start off with the chickpeas in there. I'm just gonna pop the boiled potato into the bowl as well. You see the bowl's getting full quite quickly now. That's why we needed that um, bigger bowl in the first instance. We'll add to that the tomatoes. Followed by the onions. Quite easy this one, isn't it? Just popping everything in, giving it a good mix. Quite nice and refreshing to have as a starter normally. Um, and the next thing to pop into there would be te four teaspoons of the uh, plain yogurt. I'll just pop that in now. There you go. We'll add to that three pinches of the red chili powder. So just three pinches of that, I'll put that over the top. Add a tiny bit more in there, there you go. Three pinches, three solid pinches are absolutely fine. We'll add our green chili to that as well that we've finely chopped. Half a teaspoon of cooking salt. We've taken the juice out of one lemon. I'll add that into there as well. One teaspoon of the shan, the, the seasoning mix that we had, which was the Janna Jat. Uh, mix. We'll just add that to the top there. And with the cumin seeds, which is the jeera, you're going to need for that one uh, two pinches. So all you need to do is uh, we want to uh, put that into our hands and just crush it down slightly. It's nothing, nothing major. So I'll just show you on here. So I've got one and two uh, pinches into there. And all you need to do is do that to crush it a bit, it will powder it slightly. It doesn't matter if the seeds are still in there, they're absolutely fine when you eat them, just crush it down slightly and we'll pop that into there as well. And at this point over here, get yourself something sturdy. I'm just using a metal spoon over here. If you've got a, a rigid wooden one, you don't want uh, a plastic one because they have a tendency to bend a bit, bit more difficult to mix. And you don't want to get too, with the mixing, just be careful and gently turn it and mix it in. Just keep doing that and turning it. Now you might have noted I've not added the red, uh, the Thai chilli sauce at the moment, sweet chilli sauce, that's going to be added at the end, at the top, so that doesn't need to go into the bowl as of yet. It's starting to mix really well now, Let's keep going. You'll get a good consistency of the uh, flex of the red chilli powder on the potato, then you get a good idea if it has mixed well enough which I can you might not be able to see it on the camera now but I can actually you might be able to if I lift it slightly you can start to see the little flecks of red chili powder I'm not sure how clear that will be to you but you'll be able to see that when you're mixing it yourself and if you've got that across all the potatoes you know it's been mixed really really well okay just a few more times and then we'll be ready to start to plate this neaten that up and there we go that's ready to be plated
So there's the final dish. Time to get the reactions of my parents. So I think they were particularly hungry today because I snatched that right out of my hands. Parent approval met. To follow more of my videos, make sure you subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel and click that notification bell so you get notified of any of the videos that are being updated on there. Thank you and see you soon.